GoPro on a turtle? Let's let him go and see what he captures. We got a big turtle right here. Oh, we've got a massive turtle right here. It's a red-eared slider. Oh, this guy's gonna work out perfectly. Hey, buddy. Ooh, and he is active today. There was a second turtle right next to him, but he swam off that way. This guy's gonna work perfect. So let's go over here, get a GoPro strapped on top of his shell, and let him swim around. Okay, well, we just got to the pond and we already have our turtle. This guy is a red-eared slider and I see him here almost every time I'm coming out to the pond now. He loves this little creek section towards the back part of the pond, but he's gonna be absolutely perfect for putting a GoPro on his shell. Now I'm gonna let him go back here in this creek section instead of the regular pond because the water clarity back here is about 10 times better than it is over in that muddy water. So it's gonna be perfect for him to swim around. So let's get the GoPro strapped on top of him and let him swim around. So the turtle's safety, of course, is my number one priority today. This is in no way gonna harm the turtle or inhibit any of his movements at all. So you don't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about him getting some awesome footage. Whew. Okay, so we've got the GoPro strapped onto the turtle and I have my line hooked into the mount so I'm not gonna lose where the turtle is today. But we're gonna let him go over here in this clear water and let him go and do all the work for us. Now we back away so he gets comfortable and then he'll start swimming around and gaining some footage. Also, I just realized putting him in the water, he has a small crack on the side of his shell. It's the same turtle that we saved from the spillway over there a few weeks ago. That's pretty neat. I think I might have felt it come off. Oh, yep, turtle finally shook off the camera rig. How long was he under there? He had it for at least like five minutes under there, which isn't too bad. Well guys, uh, after about five minutes underwater or so, the turtle finally shook off the GoPro. And whenever I put GoPros on animals like today's video, this is the best ending possible because I don't have to worry about going in to re-catch the animal, putting any more stress on the turtle than was necessary. So he was able to shake it off and now he's swimming freely after getting some awesome footage for us. But that is gonna wrap up today's adventure. But before you go, make sure to smash that like button and comment down below what your favorite footage underwater of the turtle was. But most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Ray Tiller and I'll see you on the next adventure.